Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd start doing a few videos just on different looks that I've achieved in Photoshop with my photographs and you know if you guys are interested in seeing some of those looks or you know even different requests I thought that could be a good idea for some you know extra videos uh, that I can do during the week and I think the first one that I'm going to start off with today is just a grungy kind of black and white look that you can do quite easily in Photoshop. So I'm just going to start off with converting the image to black and white and I have done another tutorial on how I usually do black and white images but this will be a little bit different. So we're just going to go down to the adjustment layers down here and go to gradient map and we'll click on this bar here and choose the black and white option. So we're just going to move these sliders across. I feel like this particular look will always work well with photographs that have quite strong highlights um, it just kind of sets it off a little bit more as opposed to using a photograph that's a little bit more um, flat you can kind of create a bit more contrast by using brightness and contrast and levels and things like that but generally photographs that have quite a few highlights especially on you know models faces and that this look works quite well with it so I'm just going to adjust this just a little bit okay I'm happy with that just a little bit less white actually okay and once we've converted the image to black and white I'm just going to bring up curves as usual because I love this tool and we're going to really lift the shadows so they're looking a little bit more gray because I feel like that's really part of the grungy kind of look. Um, I'm going to lift those up a little bit more and I'm going to lift the highs up just a bit to kind of you know give it a bit more contrast not make it too flat. It might be a little bit bright at the moment. Alright and I'm just going to bring them down a little bit. And bring that up a bit. And I think I'm happy with that. I might just bring the highs a little bit down as well to make them a little bit flatter. So already that's kind of giving us like a really grungy kind of look with the photograph and now I'm going to just create a levels adjustment layer as well just to give it a little bit more contrast okay and now I'm going to also add a solid color and I think we might just use like a dark navy kind of blue for this and we'll go lighten with the blending modes and bring that down a bit all right so it just kind of gives it a little bit you know something different might just bring it down a little bit more so it's just kind of a tinge of blue and I'm going to just go back to curves as well I'm going to bring those up a little bit. And just adjust that a little bit more. Alright, so I think I'm happy with the curves at the moment and I'm just going to go back to levels as well and just make them a little bit darker. So I'm just going to take a snapshot and go to the before and what it looks like now. So it's definitely got more of a grungier kind of feel to it and as we can see just with the curves adjustment layer when you've really got the shadows up here and the highlights down here it will create more of a vintage kind of grunge look. Um, I'm just going to actually bring that down a little bit 
because I think it's just a bit too bright at the moment. Alright, I think I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to do a before and after now. Take a snapshot again. And that's the after. That's the before and after. And I'm going to zoom in just so you can see with the detail. So before and after. Alright. So anyway guys, that's kind of like a grunge look that I like to do with some of my photographs at times and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you'd like to see more of these videos, definitely let me know and I can definitely work on some more for you. Alright, thanks very much for watching guys again and I'll see you next time.